Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jewan Kaiser Hwang from South Korea. Today, I am here to talk to you about multi-layer rejuvenation using picosecond laser. The laser that I am going to introduce today is a picosecond laser called PICO. Energy-based devices that can be used for rejuvenation can be classified into ablative resurfacing, superficial fractional ablative resurfacing, non-ablative fractional resurfacing, ablative fractional resurfacing, laser-induced optical breakdown, and laser-induced thermal breakdown, depending on their mechanism of action. Among them, the picosecond laser effect is caused by LIOB or LITB, caused by non-linear absorption. These modes of operation are not a matter of which is of absolutely good or bad, but which is more important between effectiveness and safety. This laser tissue interaction occurs due to the relationship between pulse duration and power density. In nanosecond laser or picosecond laser, plasma-induced ablation or photo disruption may occur due to non-linear absorption at high power density. In other words, Linear absorption is the domain of selective photosomerysis, and non-linear absorption is the domain of LIOB or LITB. What is LIOB? That is laser-induced opti optical breakdown. LIOB is a process in which atomic nuclei and electrons are separated by multi-photon process to create plasma, that is, ionized gas in which ions and free electron are mixed. This LIOB phenomenon can occur with picosecond laser and nanosecond laser. As shown in the graph, when the chromophore is zero, the result generated by the pure multi-photon process is called LIOB, and the one generated by the electrons heated by the pre presence of chrome 4 is called laser-induced thermal breakdown, that is LITB. And as you can see, the power density are different, but LIOB and LITB can occur in picosecond laser and nanosecond laser respectively, and the power density that makes them depends on absorption coefficient of the chromophore. Higher amounts of chromophore lead to LITB even at lower power density. This is schematic diagram showing the development process of LITB and LIOB. Remember that LITB can also occur with picosecond laser. Reducing the, the spot size can increase the power density by making fractional handpiece. The spot size of each micro beam can be reduced. There are DOE using diffraction and MLA using refraction. DOE has the same prolons on each spot, and MLA does not have the same prolons on each spot. First of all, I will tell you about the characteristics of PCOR that I will explain today. The most important thing of many pictures is that it is composed of three chambers. 
The beam oscillated from the seed laser, go through three chamber, and is stably amplified with high energy. This is the paper I published after experiment with Picor. In the experiment, we experiment with the different focus, focal depths to change the power density. From the results, it can be seen that the DOE become closer to the bulk beam as the focal depth increased. Similar results were also observed in tissue phantom. When looking at the side view of tissue phantom, MLA shows a V shape that is Gaussian pattern, and DOE shows a constant penetration depth. Even in the top view of ex vivo Pokrine skin, the DOE shows a bulk beam pattern as the focal depth increased. On histological e examination, MLA showed capitation of different size and depths, and DOE showed relatively homogeneous cavitation. This is the next paper that I exper experiment with different skin type. The Pitch-Patrick skin type of ex vivo skin corresponded to one or two for white for crying skin and four for black for crying skin. In the beam image, MLA shows the highest intensity, high concentration at the center. And DOE shows relatively uniform beam distribution. On histological examination, MLA shows cavitation of various depths and size. DOE shows relatively small cavitation with homogeneous size and homogeneous depths. In white peak skin, MLA made cavitation with sufficient power density, but DOE did not create cavitation due to low power density caused by uh, bulk beam pattern. Based on this result, it can be concluded that MLA multifocusing for scar and rejuvenation, DOE superficial focusing is lentigo and DOE deep focusing in melasma can be considered. Let's look at treatment cases. This patient was treated with a long pulse alexandrite pulse. You, you can see a uh, residual crust. Reason that have not been treated well in previous treatment were treated with picosecond laser DOE and gradually improved. Uh, this patient's severe rentigo and uh, SK like reason was also treated with a DOE handpiece or superficial focusing method. Old acne scar treated with picosecond laser MLA. The picosecond MLA handpiece is also effective in improving skin texture. Only one session after. So far, I have looked at the pros and cons of MLA and DOE and have seen treatment using them. Now let's talk about how to combine 
And these two advantages DOE has homogeneous micro beam, but power density is lower due to energy loss due to diffraction, about 20%. And MRA can increase power density, but safety is lower due to inhomogeneous beam profile. So I decided to combine these two, make a DLA handpiece. So we uh, devised a handpiece that create homogeneous cavitation in the epidermis, papillary dermis, upper reticular dermis, and lower dermis, respectively. And uh, we, can, uh, we can decide uh, that depth uh, we want. We made it possible to always produce consistent result, even poor variables, skin type, or white or black, and fish battery skin type, two or three, or four or five, and laser energy, and lens specification, and uh, last uh, focal length. As a result, we created DLA beam profile that reliably, uh, reliably implement LITB. Because of beam profile, uh, DOE has high optical density, but Penetration depth is very low. MLA beam profile is a non-uniform beam profile and low safety, especially uh, like melasma, on, on not uh, ha ha have no effect or worsen the melasma. But DLA beam pattern is uh, underlying underlying temperature and uniform beam pattern and LITB special realization. It makes a flat top beam with DOE splitter and amplifies that beam into micro beam with MLA and raising on skin. It was tested on white pig skin and black pig skin, respectively. The combination of focal depth and pulse energy can create cavitation in the epidermis. Handpiece is DLA handpiece, or tip level is level one, and it is 300 millijoule. Repetition rate is three hertz. And cavitation can be created in the papillary dermis by adjusting the parameter. Uh, uh, skin type is white, uh, handpiece is DLA, tip level is level two, energy is 300 millijoule, repetition time, five hertz. Uh, level two, or uh, 500 millijoule, five hertz. It is also possible in the upper reticular dermis, handpiece at DLA, tip level, level 3, energy 400 millijoule, repetition rate 5 hertz. Another biopsy uh, shows level 3, 300 millijoule, 5 hertz. And it is also possible for the lower reticular dermis. Level 4, 500 millijoule, and 5 hertz. Another biopsy, level 4, 500 millijoule, 5 hertz. Let's see the result of experiment on black pig skin. It is impossible on the epidermis. Level 1, 150 millijoule. 
and 5 hertz. Another biopsy, level 1, 150 mg, 5 hertz. It is also possible for the papillary dummies. Level 2, 300 mg, 5 hertz. Another biopsy, level 2, 400 mg, 5 hertz. It is also possible for upper reticular dummies and lower reticular dummies. Upper reticular dummies, level 3, 300 mg, 5 hertz. Also upper reticular dummies, 300, uh, level 3, 400 mg, 5 hertz. Uh, this is lower reticular dummies, uh, skin depth 1,000 micrometer. DLA handpiece and level 4, 400 mg and 10 Hz. Another biopsy, level 4, 400 mg and 10 Hz. It is designed to enable multi layer epidermis 300 micrometer, 700 micrometer, and 1000 micrometer. With simple operation, uh, dial, and it can be customized for each skin type. A uh, small spot size is uh, make low uh, energy density is higher, and recommended skin type is white. Large skin, large spot size, it, uh, energy density lower, and. Recommended skin type is a uh, darker skin type. And it is very simple and sa uh, safety. Thank you for your attention.